Bob Myers, the architect of the Warriors dynasty roster, is stepping down as the franchise's president and general manager. That's what he told our Adrian Wojnarowski. Now, Myers helped Golden State win four championships during his tenure. He was named executive of the year twice. And now the Warriors find themselves at a crossroads. So for more, we're joined by senior NBA insider Adrian Wojnarowski. Woj, you spoke with Bob Myers. So how did he come to the decision that now was the right time to step away? And Malika, this is something Bob Myers has really been weighing uh, for most of the past year. We reported in uh, December that his contract was expiring, uh, that they had not agreed on a new contract. And listen, Bob Myers could have stayed in Golden State, been paid among uh, the highest executives in the NBA. I think ultimately he knows what goes into the job, how taxing it is, certainly a lot of challenges ahead for the Warriors and ultimately could not get to a place where he thought he was ready to take all that on, invest all that needed to be invested uh, you know, over a long-term commitment to stay in Golden State. You know, he'll step away, you know, take some time to think about what might be next for him. Uh, but I think Bob Myers, you know, people sometimes with general managers, presidents, they look at the roster, the players that were brought in. Bob Myers certainly can stand up against anybody with what he's done. But what separates Bob Myers, Malika, his ability to problem solve, his mm. ability to operate within the egos of coaches and star players and egos of ownership and keep everybody together, uh, keep groups together. Listen, they brought Kevin Durant in. Kevin Durant left. They won two titles. Uh, and that dynasty continued. They won another championship. And I think that's what makes Bob Myers so unique in the landscape is the way he is respected. I think at every level of the industry, and if there is a time that he decides he wants back in this, you know, he will be as coveted as any sports executive, not just in the NBA, but we, what we've seen, I think, in any North American professional sport. Uh, but for now, he's going to step away. Uh, his contract expires at the end of the month, and then you know he'll address all of that at a news conference here at the top of the hour. Yeah, Myers is stepping away, though, Woj, at an interesting time because the Warriors have a lot of decisions to make this offseason. It includes the long-term futures of Klay Thompson, of Draymond Green, and that's not to, expen to mention an expensive luxury tax here. So who are the Warriors targeting to replace Myers and inherit those questions and decisions? Listen, this is an organization where the owner has a lot of voice, a lot of input, a lot of hands-on with Joe Lacob. Uh, Mike Dunleavy Jr., who came into the front office a few years ago, Bob Myers brought him in. I think that, along with Joe Lacob's son, uh, Kirk Lacob, has a younger, uh, Kirk has a younger brother, Kent, who I think will take on more prominent roles. There's not an expectation Golden State's going to open this up to find perhaps a traditional GM from the outside, that they'll try to uh, fill the void of Bob Myers from within. I think we'll a, lot, a lot will ride on, uh, you know, Mike Dunleavy Jr., uh, how much he might want to take on in that role now, uh, perhaps as general manager. But there's a lot ahead for this Warriors team, not just the roster questions you just mentioned there, Malika, but Steve Kerr, their uh, coach, he's got a year left on his deal. You know, he said earlier this month or last month, you know, that he would allow this team to get through, you know, the difficult player decisions they have to make, uh, certainly Bob Myers' decision, uh, but Steve Kerr, who's certainly, you know, the other leadership anchor of this organization, I think his future will be the next uh, challenge for Joe Lacob. And I think the loss of Bob Myers, very few players have the relationship that Steph Curry, uh, Draymond Green specifically, Clay Thompson, have with Bob Myers and um, those tend to be kind of transactional relationships between executives and players and, and Bob Myers has navigated and made it I think something much more so this is a profound loss uh, for this Warriors organization and uh, certainly it leaves uh, the Lake of family to now take on uh, the brunt of of more leadership and, and maybe even more decision making. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.